So, this is Gear City, which is an early access game. I'm going to start a new game here. Um, Save so game as YouTube. I'm going for easy because that lets you do uh, a lot of stuff early on. We're going to start in 1900. So, Gear City. It's uh, basically a game of uh, running your own car company. Uh, it's one of the, it's a sim type of game. So you can pick a starting city. You need to pay attention. Oh, Reykjavik which in Denmark. Was it in Denmark in 1900? It might have been. So per capita is um, 232, the population is 8,200. Whereas you compare that to somewhere like London, per capita 367, population 6 million. Obviously, much bigger market, uh, easier to do. I am therefore going to uh, stick to London. Your name, Rob. Company name, let's go for Winter Mute Cars. Logo, important choice, I'm sure. Go for bunnies, excellent. So you can choose how many uh, competitors you have. I'm just going to do a random 100, which you know is fairly realistic for 1900, I would have said. So here we are in the, the uh, main office. Uh, there are various things you can access to uh, to uh, do bits and pieces. For now, what I'm going to do first is um, build a car. So go to the R&D department. So we need to design the uh, components: a chassis, an engine, and a gearbox. I'm going to use assisted. We're going to make a coupe. We're going to go for a bit larger. Slightly complex, but not too much. And we're going to go for a bit, a bit on the expensive side. So that'll do. Project cost uh, $41,000, but because I went too easy. I have uh, massive amounts of um, massive amounts of capital, like four million or something. So let's see if you watch those uh, stars at the side there. There. You want to find you want to find the cutoffs. That looks to be a good cutoff. There we go. We've got lots of gold stars. Let's do it. Engine. We'll go for assisted again. If you go, for, you can go for. All right. So we'll go for the largest engine we can fit, shall we? the largest we can do five four nine that seems fine let's go for all the power we're not going to worry too much about fuel let's twiddle this and see if we can get the ratings to go up unit cost a thousand probably too expensive Fuel to go up a bit. Oh, there's no point feddling with them fuel. Let's go for it. We're going for all the power. Unit cost not bad. Project cost right. So the way it works is you have to design your components, and then. Um, So 
only components, and then after they're designed, you can come back and uh, build a car out of them. So, let's have a look. We're going to go for performance. There we go. Design it. So everything's there in progress. There's nothing else going on at the minute because it's the first turn. Now I wasn't paying attention earlier how long it takes to design everything. There's nothing else we can really do until they're designed, so I'm just going to skip ahead five months. Uh, lock up a bit. So let's have a look at our memos. What have we got? Research complete. Hey, we've got an engine. We've made losses, which isn't surprising since we're not selling anything yet. We've got an engine, we've got a gearbox. The chassis is still coming though. So since we've got an engine, let's go to the racetrack and let's have a look at the Gear City Cup. We'll select our engine, full cylinder flat. Put in, so go for about 100,000 a year, go for it. Start. New competition. Nobody else, anywhere near us. Nobody else has even entered. That's good. Let's go back to the office and let's uh, go forward a month and see if they finish building the chassis. Yay, chassis completed. We didn't win any races though. Anyway, I was the R&D department. Let's design a vehicle. So I guess we're building a coupe. Grand right. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't look like that much. Let's go for a Type 96. And let's make it a bit more uh, low to the ground. There we go. I don't know that we get, need to... What does that do? I'm not sure. Curve. It's the last curve seat. There we go. Want people to be comfortable. Let's stick some wheels on it. And the neat thing about this game is that you can go into as much detail as you want in the actual. Um... Oh, I can't put them there. There we go. Let's put them there. Much data as you want. Gosh. As much data as you want in the actual uh, the actual uh, construction of your car. And you know what I want to do? I want to put some more wheels on. Yeah, let's do that. Well, that looks more useful. Have some mirrors. Have some tail lights. There we go. Let's paint it. And I like a nice, a nice purple. There we go, purple and gold. Look at that bling. Leather and plastic. Cool. Metals, right? We can't do anything with metals. I don't think we've got any glass. Alright. So there's our first car. 
looking sexy. We'll call it sexy purple. And we shall. Oh, let's see. So I can have a fairly expensive vehicle. Let's see where uh, that looks all right. Fifteen eighty-five. Design it. Does that work? There we go. We're designing the car. So we go back to the office. Let's have a look at the racing port. Do look at that already. No wins. Right. So let's skip forward a few more months until the car has finished being designed. Alright, doesn't look like we... Um... Let's go to the racetrack, just see what we're doing. Sure, we have entered, but never mind. Estimate rating the higher the better, minus 35. Well, that's how good we are. So let's go forward another. Let's go forward another three months, just see what happens. I think it probably takes about a year to. Uh, Design a car. What's this one? Alright, I'm fairly sure I wasn't in the Summer Olympics. Winter Mute Cars, which has been completed. Excellent. So now, what we need to do is build some cars. Production. So let's assign all five production lines. And that's uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, We can basically build as many vehicles as we want, see. 640, right. Let's uh, be a bit more modest. Start off with 33. There we go. Click assign. Okay, let's try again. Now it is early access. I'm sure I mentioned that before. There we go, we've assigned it now. So the interface is a bit buggy. Um, you have to just be double check. You've actually clicked on things you think you've clicked on. But it's not like that, you know, it's not stopping you play the game. I've still got three million there, that's good. Branch, right. So now we want to add that. We're selling for 3,407. So we're making 2,000 profit approximately on each one. You know, if people buy them. In my, in my London showroom. So let's, let's, um, uh, we're still making a big loss. Let's go forward a month and see if we sell anything. Uh, did we sell anything? We produced 33 and we sold 8. Which is nice. Let's have a look at the uh, in-game magazine. Uh, 
Uh, someone went to me cars, must of. Nice grammar, must be in really well mind. Oh dear. Well, my first track run in Wintermute Cars Witch suffered two cracked ribs and a ruptured spleen. I think they mean ribs. Not from wrecking it, but from the sheer raw power of this coupe. How exciting is that? Top speed of 70 miles an hour. The thrills, the excitement. I've come to conclude that this is the best coupe I've te ever tested on the track. Buy it now. Strongest selling point is our exceptional sense of luxury. Very exciting. So, well, certainly seems like we're doing quite well, although, you know. We only sold eight. Let's go forward a month and see what happens. Where are we? We're either 2nd of January or the 1st of February. Uh, yeah, American dates. There we go. Let's have a look. Uh, we sold nine. We're building up some nice reserves here. Uh, no history yet. I don't know what any of those do. We'll leave it. So this will uh, a nice teddy bear. A gun to end it all. IPO, if you want to do it, but not really. In your current financial situation. So we're down to one and a half million. And win it off is a great big loan if we want to. We're not going to do any of that right now. We're going to go and have a look at the racetrack again, because, you know, I like the racing. Let's have a look, what else can we go for? Oh, touring. We select our car? No, we can't. Let's try a different one then. Pull that back. Yeah, we can enter this one. Look. Keep it under 100,000. There we go, we're entering Cirque du Sud Quest. I'm going to gear City Cup. Nobody's won anything. Hey, look. We are the past champions of the Gear City Cup through being the only one who actually entered it, I'm guessing. Uh, another thing I want to do, let's go and look at the R&D department. Research teams. So let's uh, start pumping a bit of money into R&D. There we go. Apply. Did it apply? Looks like it. Uh, we can uh, pick some uh, music here. Uh, let's go for Biohazard. Nice. All right. So I'm going to skip ahead six months. And uh, 
Just to see, we're still making a loss. We're still making a loss. Uh, the sales are gradually increasing, look. We have some massive reserves though. But I'm only selling a third of them. So probably what I should do at this point is um is cut down my production. Or possibly invest more in sales. But I'm not going to do any of that right now. I think you've probably now seen seen what the game's about. Um, like I said before, it is early access, so expect some clunkiness, some some interesting bugs, and um, also expect uh, what works to change. But I think now uh, you can get it for less than a tenner in early access. It's on sale this week. Um, if you're into these sort of management simulation games, I think uh, there we are. if you like, or if you like cars or both, this is uh, worth having a play with. <laughs>